Hey, what's going on? It's Jay Sean of House Turn Reviews, and here's another quick pickup at the Louis Vuitton store. So let's get right to it. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Sean. All right, guys. So here I have two different items, but I'm going to show them in two different videos and break it up a little bit. Uh, so I'm very, I don't buy too much Louis Vuitton stuff, but there's stuff that I like about it. If you never bought anything with Louis Vuitton, I suggest you going directly to the retailer or going online directly on their website. I wouldn't go to a third party. I don't know how that works. and I don't know how authentic that stuff is. Um, I got two boxes here. They wrap it up pretty nice, as they should. The boxing, the packaging is really nice. So for right now, though, I'm only going to show you one of the items per video because I'm just going to split it up and... Um, I'm a person who doesn't really wear a lot of, uh, I mean, I don't, like, these are like wallet style things for men. And this is also for, in my opinion, you could be, it's unisex, I guess, but I think these are more on the men's side. Um, I feel personally that I don't like bulky pockets, bulky wallets. I don't like having um, wallets that are super thick with a lot of stuff in it. Even though I wear a cheap one right here, it's a thin, you put your cards in it, and I pretty much fill it up where it's bulging and it starts ripping and it just doesn't fit like it's supposed to so this was something i like aldo i don't know it was like 30 dollars, maybe 40 at the most okay so i'm gonna pick this one first and let's just see what we get and uh let's go let's open it i love the packaging with stuff like it reminds me of something i get from my jeweler um there is a regular wallet that are pretty expensive, like five, six hundred. I don't know. It all depends on the pattern you get. This is all wrapped up. Sorry for all the noise. <clears throat> uh, by the way, this feels. I already know which one this is. This is pretty much they call it the pocket organizer. And the reason I picked this one is I'm a pretty plain person for some stuff, and I feel like the regular monogram with you know the typical LV LV everywhere. I just feel like I, I like this pattern because it's a little more subtle. This one is really nice. I really mess with this one because it got those blue accents. Can you see it? Now, if you have one of these and you have no money, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you have this and you want to invest in something that could last a while, I suggest it. Look at the colors. I think it's pretty dope. You see it? So this one costs, I believe it's $4.25. Um... It wouldn't have mattered if this was super expensive or super cheap. This is just a style that I normally like to wear. I like something that's form-fitting in your pocket. They have a pocket organizer. I can't even talk. Pocket organizer just like this without the blue accents. And it costs $350. Then they have some that are different material that you're going to look at $400 plus range again. So these, I believe, is leather inside. Or this is leather internals. But this is that, if you watch my other video... It is a Louis Vuitton canvas material. Now, some people may look at stuff like this and think it's a waste, but you can get stuff like this refinished, and it is sort of warranted for the most part if something breaks or, or whatever. Now, inside it just says uh, Louis Vuitton coated fabric, cowhide leather lining. So if you're buying this stuff for the materials, you know 100% you're getting ripped off. If you're buying it for the style and for the classicness of Louis Vuitton, then it's a great deal. This is a little new and trendy, but I love the blue when it, it looks dope. It sticks out. Not that I want people staring at my wallet, but it makes me feel a little bit better. I did spend more for this one than the plain one, but I just feel like this is nice, right? Um, I think it's something you could treat yourself with. Uh, in my old video, my other video, I talk about people buying like the, the full-size wallets, holding them for 10 years and selling them used and they only lost like $100 off a of five, $600 original retail value. That's crazy. That's really good. So you don't, you won't catch stuff like Louis Vuitton on sale. They don't need to be like, they're like the Apple of like, um, leather wallets and belts and stuff. Well, I wouldn't even say leather. So if you're not sure about how Louis Vuitton works, Louis Vuitton uses a lot of canvas material. This stuff, what you see all the pattern stuff on, is a lot of canvas material. That's why some stuff costs way more than others, despite the size of the bag for women or men. Um, this is a nice bag. I don't even wear those. And it's not a satchel, but it's like kind of like a cross pat, uh, like um, not a fanny pack, but it's like a little uh, bag that you wear like across your chest. 
it's pretty dope. The one that I saw, I really liked it. I could tell it was a leather material and it was eighteen hundred dollars. And um it was like kind of like a slight blue tint, not bright blue like this, but it had like a kind of like a navy bluish purple tint to it. It looked really nice. And I believe that's leather. It did have a pattern, but not like this. It wasn't this same type of material. So Again, I think this is really nice. If you're only the type of person who like, if you're like me, like to keep subtle things in here, like your wallet, your ID, I mean your wallet, your ID, a couple credit cards, bank card, maybe a little bit of cash in there just to have in there. I think this is perfect. I think it's slim. I don't, and I really don't like bulky, bulky wallets. And just for the fact that this is pretty pricey, I want to take care of it more than a typical wallet like this. I don't care about it. I overstuff it on purpose, put receipts and every other thing you can think of. But something like this, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to make sure I take care of it. I'm proud to have something like this. It sounds weird and maybe materialistic, but I always say in every video, it's worth it if you find worth in it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how much it costs. It doesn't matter what you'd be willing to pay for it versus what I'd be willing to pay for it. That's why I bought it because I find the value in it. I think it's great if you want to treat yourself, have a, it's like Rolexes, are they really worth? I mean, it tells time like any other watch. But they're classic timepieces. They're not even considered watches. They're timepieces. The things that you pass on to your children and your children's children, there's things, these are things that are worth, they have value to them years beyond when they stop even manufacturing them. Stuff like that, this is like that for, for wallets and suitcases and belts. Louis Vuitton is like that classic brand that would just never fade away. It's not very trendy. It keeps up with trends, but they have classic pieces that will never fade away. And that's one of these, that's what this brand is to me and what I know of it and how I see it. So I don't know why I'm out of breath. My last video had to run up and down some levels. And it's like, I never caught my breath since that video for some reason. But anyway, make sure you do everything at top level at your top level. Remember, you're not competing with nobody and what they do. You're only competing with your last move. So make sure your next move is literally your best move or your better move. Um, please hit like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, or one of them, at least like, comment, share or subscribe, whatever you choose to do. I appreciate it fully. And uh, I guess until next time and check out the next video because I have another surprise in this box right here. If I get all the stuff off of it, and I'll show you what this is. This is a bit more affordable. And I think this is a pretty cool thing because it's something that I naturally do with um, my keys and wallets and stuff like that anyway. So I'll catch you in the next video. All right. Until next time.